Hello, Doris. Hello. Hi, my Hi. name is Sophia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I it's my it is my first time to have a one by one lesson. Oh, all right. That's good. That's good. You have all the attention and you can ask any questions you mm -hmm. want. <laughs> yeah, that's why I choose this kind of lesson. Great. Awesome. Well, I'll be very happy to help you. And um, tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, I worked normally and came back my home at 6 p.m. And I just finished my dinner and watched the movie for about 30 minutes, waiting the begin of our class. Oh, okay, good, good. Uh, so you started watching a movie, right? And are you going to continue after the lesson? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Doris, I see you've got a very good level, level seven. How long have you been learning English for? It, it has been really long time since I, I got since I'm a primary school student. Okay, wow. And I already started to learn English, but until until I entered college, I started to practice my spoken English and the listening skill or something. Before that, uh, I usually learn uh, writing skills or reading skills through the book, the teaching book. Uh -huh. I think that is, mm, that's not really useful for me. Yeah. If I, I want to use English in the daily life or for my future plan or work something else. That's not really important, um, useful. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. So you want to use English where it's live and where it's interactive, not so much just reading and working on grammar rules, right? Yes, yes. And can I ask you what work do you do? Do you use English at work? Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just intern in a car company, new source car company. Okay. I will graduate the next year, oh. next June. So okay. I still I'm still a college student now. Ah, I see. So then you study and you work part time as well. Actually, not part time. I don't have any curriculums on the next semester. I have ah. finished all my classes mm -hmm. and I'm just waiting for my mm, thesis. Thesis. Yes, thesis. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are yeah. you studying? <laughs> <laughs> I major in logistics engineering. Okay. Um, not very professional, like it um, sounds like. Um, most <laughs> of the classes are <laughs> are managed managing classes. Oh, I see. Uh, not not really difficult. And after you finish studying, what would your ideal job be? profession uh, actually my ideal job maybe um, some job related to my major like the logistic or the supply chain or the purchasing and now I'm an intern in that car company just as supply chain purchasing internship okay. and it's really related to my major I'm so happy about that excellent <laughs> wow that's very good so Possibly you can continue at the same company then when you graduate. Yeah, I hope so. 
if I can work really well and the company accept my performance mm -hmm. so I can stay here as a real employee. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Wow. And <coughs> did they place you? Did your university place you at this company? Or how did you find it? I find it through the application by my phone. Okay. And um, yeah, in China, it's difficult to find a job, even the internship. Wow. Because there are so many college students and the companies is uh, aren't very many, aren't very enough for our students, especially for the <clears throat> undergraduates. Oh wow, that is so sad. So, so yeah, so there is a big pressure about us to find a job after graduation. Mm -hmm. And maybe a lot of people they immigrate and they leave China perhaps to find jobs elsewhere? Mm, maybe, maybe. And some, some students choose to um, further study, like master or okay. study abroad. Yeah. That is one of the reasons. And is education expensive? So is it, is it government supplied or the parents have to pay a lot of money for studying. How does that work? Mm, most of students, uh, the college, the fees of college, uh, it's not that not that expensive. If you if your uh, grade of the college entrance examination is very high uh -huh. and you entered a really good college, then uh, that not really expensive. But if you don't get that good grade and you still want to study in college, so you need to pay a lot. Pay a lot. Wow. Okay. So that's why there's even that, you a couldn't lot of pressure. Uh, yeah. Even, even if you pay a lot, you couldn't study at a, a very good college. Wow. I'm I'm feeling the pressure already <laughs> just by listening to you. <laughs> really, I think yeah. your high school years must be the most important years, uh, just to make sure mm, you get yeah. the foundation of everything. And can you apply? For example, you don't get good grades. Can you apply to another college and see if you get better grades there? Is that an option? For me, if I didn't get a good grade enough to get in some good college, just like my college now, maybe I'm, I'll give up. Because if I study for more, more than a year to, uh, to take the examination again, yeah. I think that's, that is a waste of my time. If I couldn't wow. do that for the first time, I couldn't do that for the second time. So I'll go, give up and find another way, another way to, um, to, uh, to live a meaningful life for my goals of life. I think there's not the only way to study in a college. There are many ways to live a meaningful and good life. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. But luckily, mm -hmm. but luckily I got good grades and yes. <laughs> started in a good college. Wow. And can I ask you what part of China you live in? What, what is your province and your city? Mm, my hometown, my hometown is in Mongolia, mm -hmm. North China, okay. in North of China. And now I study in Nanjing, okay. Jiangsu province. I've heard of Nanjing, right? It's quite a big, big mm -hmm. city. Yeah, big city and really hot in the summer. Okay. I, Very hot. I, I, I almost did die because the hot weather. Oh my God, that's really diff totally different from my hometown. 
Wow. Even if I have spent been? three, uh, about three years at this city, in this city, I still can't stand it. Wow. So, what what is it? Um, what is it? As hot as maybe forty degrees Celsius. Do you use do you use Celsius? Not forty. If it if it reached to forty, oh my god, I couldn't survive. I think. Okay. Mostly it's about thirty thirty two. From 32 to 37 or 38, uh -huh. the highest. Wow, that's very hot. And that's already hot, really wow. hot. <laughs> you must have a lot of air conditioners everywhere, hopefully, and fans and some kind of cooling yeah, system. Every home, yes, every home, it must be an air condition. <laughs> Otherwise, we couldn't through the summer vacation wow. or the summer season, whole, the whole summer season. So survive summer, right? At least then you're not studying, right? How do, <laughs> how do your terms work? Uh, I know everyone that's at school, they're on holiday now. And is it different if you're at university do, or you have to study now during this time? Uh, we only study at the school uh, at the school days. We have this vacation, summer vacation or the winter vacation, and actually we don't have um, we don't have much tasks to finish during the semester. That's good. So it's less, to be busy. Less pressure. Yeah. And not less to be to be busy or not. It depends on ourselves' choice. If we choose to live uh -huh. a meaningful college life, to learn some skills, and to get prepared for our future life, we need to do a lot. Not only our school school study, but many things. But we if we someone only wanted to finish his college and to get to get the uh, <laughs> college degree so that's easy yeah yeah okay wow very interesting well you've really explained everything so nicely that i've got a good idea of a life of a college student so well <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that and um, well, let's start with our lesson. We're speaking about contracts, right? Business collocations. Yeah. So this is quite a high level. So you're welcome to ask me any questions and let's learn it nicely and thoroughly since you're the only student. So it's nice. We have all the time. Okay. Uh, could you read the introduction for me, Doris? Okay. In this lesson, we will be learning collocations with the word contract that are used in a business world. Collocations are words that na native speakers put together naturally because they grow up always hearing them together. Zuan E, uh, what's that? ESL, English Second Language. Oh. To an ESL student, these combinations might not sound natural. The meaning of the two separate words might not match up, but together they create a new meaning. Good, good. Okay. Uh, just a bit of focus on pronunciation. When you see the EA or maybe EE, -E, just say it a little bit longer so it doesn't sound like I speakers. Must sound like e speakers e meaning just a bit uh, longer speakers new meaning that's it good good that's very good okay and i always the, forgot that <laughs> i'll remind you <laughs> no problem for me there's no difference between the short e and the long e <laughs> 
That's right. When you're learning, it's a bit strange. I know I was learning German and I had the same thing. My teacher told me this needs to be longer and it didn't make any difference. But it's it makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it correctly mm -hmm. like that the second time. Okay, I'm going to put accents here. And then you can read them for me. Okay. Contract. An official agreement between two or more people stating what each will do. Print. To produce words, numbers, or pictures on paper using the machine which puts ink onto the surface. Terms. The official conditions that someone must agree to. Renew to arrange for an agreement or official document to continue for a further period of time. Terminate. If something terminates or if you terminate it, it ends. Rent. To regularly pay money to live in a house or a room that belongs to someone else or to use something that belongs to someone else. Excellent. Very good. It seems to me you know all these words already. They're all old words for you. Is that right? Mm. Renew is the new word. Okay. Make something new. Right. Uh, I think uh, if yeah. you're living in Nanjing and it's not your hometown, do you rent or do you have student accommodation? Before I start my internship, I live in the school campus, in my dormitory, uh -huh. and and now I rent a small apartment because the company is really far away away from my campus, so I have to live outside. Ah, oh, okay, right. So, also, if you say your contract to rent is for a year, so one year contract, then you can renew this contract yeah. after a year if you want to continue staying there. Oh. Then you can use that word there. Oh. That means update? Yes, exactly. So, it's something that already existed okay. and then you're just doing it again. Renew. Okay. The same if you have a work contract and in the terms it says you can work one year and after one year you can terminate the contract or you can renew. So if you choose to continue, you can say, I want to renew the contract. Okay, all right, so let's read about how we draw up a contract. Do you understand draw up? Mm -hmm. To make a draft? Yes, yes, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more than a draft. Let's read about it. Okay. To draw up the contract means to write down or type a contract that all the people or companies involved need to sign for a deal to become legal. Please print the contract we drew up yesterday so that everyone can sign it. That's it. Okay. So, so the... Uh, go for it. So draw up means... Uh, we we already finished the contract and the, we need to sign it. We don't have to change the terms or something else. It's the final version, right? That's it. That's it. Yeah, final version. That's very nicely put. So you draw it up means you write it and it's there. So you can do a draft uh -huh. before you draw it up. But generally, mm -hmm. it's something that doesn't require yeah. a draft. 
actually during my internship and um, I do many jobs about administration ah. and recently my work is mainly about archiving archiving the contracts that have that uh, that have have signed and most of have finished I have to archive them and um, in order to be easy to find if in need oh, okay All right. so, so I, I have, in I have order. yeah I have seen many kinds of contracts <laughs> such as uh, the general general terms and conditions the non-disclosure agreement <laughs> and uh, and what's that? Ah, oh, the purchasing agreement, uh -huh. as etc. <laughs> all the top secrets. You should know all the top secrets of your company, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we can do with a contract. Honor a contract. Have you ever heard that? Honor a contract. Honor. That means. Let me guess. Honor the contract, maybe to um, execute, execute. I, I what's that? <laughs> Ex execute or execute, execute. That's right. Execute. Ah, uh, to execute. Yeah, very good. That's right. So it means to do the things agreed upon in the contract so like you said mm -hmm. execute perfect okay so maybe let's read this example sentence here at the bottom um, even though we got a better deal we already signed the previous contract and we should honor it yeah so what does that the mean contracts how do you understand this? That means that mean even if we could do something better, but we already um, agreed something through the contract and that is legal. We can't do something that's um, different or even or even in a uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. oh, or or even in a different direction. Yes, yes. You can to, use um, this word as yeah, well. Yeah, to the contract. DVA. Ah, I want to say this word, but I forgot it. <laughs> oh, you were very close. Okay, to deviate from <coughs> the contract. So, deviate from yes. that contract. Okay, good. That's that's honor the contract. Okay, let's see what else there is. Negotiate a contract. I think that's pretty straightforward, right? Negotiate. What's that? Mm. Negotiate uh, to make something in maybe two parties or more and they are in the same opinion about something through talking or 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 or, or. Uh, anyway <laughs> that's it yeah so you're right two parties but they're not really uh, they don't have the same opinion in the beginning so first they differ so maybe they don't agree but as you negotiate so as you prove that your point is correct we should add this in the contract and the other person finally agrees with you so then they finally agree and that means negotiate mm. So you can use this word negotiations as well. And if you had unsuccessful no negotiations, mm -hmm. that means no one agreed on anything. 
So they're not going to do business oh. together, most likely. The defer, defer means, I. Uh, defer. So just have different opinion. Ah. Uh, to differ, to to be different, to have different opinion. To differ. This is a verb. Okay. A verb. Okay. Okay, well, let's do this example sentence at the bottom. The meeting could take all day as they are busy negotiating a contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can see in the picture the how do you think the negotiation went over the contract? I think the They've already got the same opinion. Yes. And the negotiation may be successful. Yes. Because they are doing this. Yeah, right? they shake hands each other. That's yeah. right. That was good. They negotiated a contract. Okay, enter into, very important. This one, what's that? Enter into. Enter. Enter into. Uh, you enter, think of entering through a door. What could that mean? To be, to be a party of the contract. Yes, yes, to be part of the contract. Yes, to start, mm -hmm. to, to enter into, you imagine a door and you're entering through a door. So you're starting to start a contract. Okay. So I can say, uh, you probably have entered into a contract when you started working at your motor vehicle company. You entered into a contract. Working for your company. Uh, um, is that possible if if there are already two parties in a contract and they've they've entered into the contract for a period of time and after that a third party entered into this contract. Yes, that's right. Yes, they can do that. So they can start the contract as well. It just basically means start. So uh -huh. a third party can start depending on the conditions and the terms and conditions of the con uh, contract. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. We've got some exercises coming up, but here's one more. Break contract. I think you can guess what that means. That means the end of the contract, the end of our business relationship. Or just just something in that is in that are including in the contract. That means we finished or we have to end because of something. So it's not quite the same as terminate. Okay, so for example, you have, you have a contract for your uh, rent, right? And it's one year. Okay, so you terminate mm -hmm. after a year, you terminate. But if you want to leave this place you're living in, and if you leave after six months, you're breaking the contract. That means oh. you're not staying your full time. The contract says one year, but now you break it. You leave only six months after. 
Okay, so then then always the nectar meaning. Yes, precisely. Yes, always not good because if your company had some rules that if you break the contract, then we don't pay you for the other six months or if they had some other conditions, then it's, you don't get the benefits if you had waited for the termination oh, of the contract. Okay, let's read okay. the sentence. By buying products from another company, they broke contract with us. The contract has said that we would be their only supplier. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. So tell me, how did they break this contract? They do something that break the, the terms of their contract. That's right. By the only supplier on means the single source. Yes. And they bought from some other company. They went to another supplier. Yeah. And they bought products. Yes. So they broke the contract. Now it means the contractor, contractor, the person that gave them the job, gave them the contract, then he has the right, has the right to terminate their contract. So whatever relationship they had, now their relationship is broken. That's it. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense, right? So it's not good. <laughs> Don't ever break your contract. Mm. Can we say terminate in this condition? Mm. In this case here, in this case, we'll only use break the contract. So here, we won't use terminate because terminate will mean on good conditions, but break will mean negative, like you said in the beginning. So only use this okay. if you've done something wrong, if you couldn't wait. But here's one for renew or terminate. Let's actually read this page and the example. All contracts have the certain period of time that they are legal. After this time have run, has run out, we can either renew the contract, sign it again for a new time period, or terminate, means end the contract. She right. rented the house on a yearly basis and renewed the contract twice. But after three years of living there, we terminated her contract and she moved out. Perfect. So for example, this is, this is a year in my graph here. This is one year. It's a one year contract. And if you don't do anything wrong, that means here you've got the two options. You've got the option to terminate or to renew. But if you did something mm -hmm. wrong, now you've broken, broke the contract. The blue one is, you broke the contract. So the yellow one is the good one, the blue one, that means now you'll have to look for another job because they will not want you anymore or another new place yeah. to stay. So, mm -hmm. broke the contract's bad, renew is good. Does that make sense? Okay. Make sense? Understand? Yeah, I know, I know. I don't make sense. <laughs> Good, okay. Maybe you're taking <laughs> notes. All right. <laughs> 
All right, mm -hmm. so uh, let's practice now, okay? Let's see what you remember from all these contracts. Honor, break, enter. Let's see which ones fit in. This is nice practice here. So read the sentence and choose the word. Okay. I would like to renew my cell phone contract again. Excellent. Very if good. you draw up the contract, we can sign tomorrow. Perfect. We first need to negotiate the contract before I sign anything. Aha, uh -huh. good. She is an honest woman and would never break contracts. Excellent. I trust that you will honor this contract and not break it. That's it. They entered into the new contract last week. Perfect. Ah, good job. Yes, <laughs> definitely a very good job. 100%. <laughs> Very good, Doris. Okay. So this was all new for you and you learned it. That was excellent. Okay. So then we've got some questions, right? So I'll ask you these questions. Mm -hmm. Do you own your house, apartment, or are you renting it? Of course, I'm just renting it. And a really small but beautiful apartment. Oh, that's nice. And how long is your contract for that apartment? Or At you least one year. One year. Yeah, one year contract. Mm -hmm. And if I break, if I break it, I have to pay uh, one month for the. Mm, maybe punishment of broken the contract. Ah, okay, so the terms, in the terms, it says you need to pay, pay one month's rent. Rent would be the yeah. fee. If you break, if you break the contract. Okay. But, but if I can re-rent my apartment to someone else, then I don't need to pay. Okay. So but if I can't, I have to pay. That's really good. <laughs> You've got good landlords. <laughs> Do you know who are landlords? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. The owners. Yeah, I know. Kind of. Owner. And what was the last contract you entered into? Maybe the uh, maybe the contract with the tutor ABC is the last contract. <laughs> okay, all right. So I hope you will honor ah, that no, no, contract. No, 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 no. <laughs> the last no, no, no. The last contract is the contract with the landlords. Okay. A B Tutor A B C is earlier. Oh, that was before. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. And how long is your contract with Tutor A B C? Is that a month to month or year to year? Two year. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, you will be in level twelve by the time you finish. I'm sure. Yes, that's my goal. It's a good goal. You will get it. This class. Yeah, I don't want to uh, just to be a level nine or level level ten. That that doesn't make any sense. If I study to if I start to study, I want to be the best. Absolutely. Good. You will be. I think even now, Doris, you're higher than level seven. You're definitely higher. You should be in a higher level. Seven is you speak 
<laughs> too well for level seven. Level but sevens Anthony, don't speak like you. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I I I entered a level seven just ten. I oh, know ten more than ten, but less than fifty days. And about one week one week ago, my consultant has recommended me to be a higher level and and he already he already opened the, the process ah, okay. for me to to be a higher level at that time i'm a kind of confused who did that i don't i didn't do that why am i on on, on a uh um i mean why why am I? Uh, why was? Why was I? On a what's that? What's that word? Higher level or upgraded? No, what? Not a higher level. Upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the upgrading process. Yes. I need to get the approval of at least three consultants. Yes. Yes, yes, generally, I think three or five even, I'm not sure, but I'll definitely click a yes to it because I think you need a bit more of a challenge. This is really very good for you, but you can use a bit more of a challenge. Ah, maybe I can try. Mm -hmm. Okay. But nice. actually, I think you are, you've already found something that uh, even my spoken English is not bad, but I have some problem on my grammar. Mm -hmm. I always say something wrong, but I I didn't realize that. Mm. Not this lesson, definitely not. I'll point out if you say something wrong, <laughs> but you've definitely used all your past tenses very nicely and very well constructed sentences. Sometimes I know Chinese language is very different to English in construction. So you've never yeah. really said anything other way around. You've always had your good structures. So it's been very good. Okay. All right. Well, have you ever That's broken nice. a contract? <laughs> never. Good. I never did that. Maybe someone did that. I don't have many chance. Yeah, I don't have many chances to sign a contract like something. Yeah. To someone else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. Keep it that way. And our final page, Doris. Uh, let's repeat these words. And you can choose one word to make a sentence with just for practice. Okay, let me think. I try my best to use all of them. Okay, good. I like that. Maybe one or two sentences. If you can fit all of them into a sentence, they'll be very creative. Okay. Mm. Other... Upper contract about renting house is going to <clears throat> is going to end. It's going to end. Do you want to renew or terminate it? Okay. If if you want to renew our contract, I'll print, I'll print, I'll print the hard copy this afternoon. Okay. Excellent, excellent, that's good, well done. And we can say in here, instead of renting and about, we can just say, I have a, a rental contract. Then you make an ad adjective. A rental contract. Mm -hmm. That's going to end. Okay. That's, that's going to end. Okay. That's it. 
Yeah, very good. So you can always uh, name the contracts. You can say house contract, work contract. You can, you can put an adjective to describe the kind of contract you have. Learning English contract, mm. right? Okay. There we go. Okay, wow, Doris. I hope you've learned a lot about contracts and it's been so nice speaking to you. I definitely feel that you should be upgraded for a bit of a challenge, but it's been a very nice and thorough lesson with you. You speak beautifully. Well done. Keep learning. I can see you'll be in level 12. I believe that. It's so nice meeting you. I believe to. <laughs> Okay, after this class, I'm trying to start to be a higher level. I'll start the. I always forget that word. How, how, how upgrade. can I say it's. Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, not, not exactly. Hmm. I don't want to say the upgrade, but the. the, 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 the. That means someone checked my ability of English. The process of that, a non, what's that? Feedback. Oh, I, I, I no, 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 the evaluation. Ah, okay. <laughs> evaluation. Ah, I, <laughs> yeah, I remember it. That's I've started the evaluation. Process. Perfect. Perfect, Doris. And don't forget to leave some feedback for me. As you click out of the session, just click a feedback for me as well. Thank you very much. I hope okay. I will meet you one day again. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay.